To create a Gantt chart, press the plus icon in the Confluence page and type in Gantt. In the settings tab, you can set to show your week numbers and you can set your weekends and holidays as well. To start your Gantt chart, create some new tasks for your project and label them. You can indent and outdent your task here. You can drag the slider on the chart to change the duration of the task and you can also move it around to change the dates of your project. Now let's add a milestone to your project. To create a milestone, create a new task and convert it into a new milestone. You can drag and drop your dependencies on your chart. In the edit task section, there's sections such as general, predecessors, successors, advanced, and notes. In the notes section, you could add personalized notes for each task. You can assign resources to your project by putting in the user and selecting the amount of units you want to allocate to that user. Now you can open the resource view and see how much time is allocated to the project with each user. You can see how much time is allocated to your project and if it goes over it will turn red. To change the color of your tasks, you have to go into the edit section and choose the color you want for each individual task. Set the columns that you want for the project. You can edit the percentage of the project that's already completed. You can set tasks as inactive, which becomes grayed out on the Gantt. Gantt Chart Planner does not autosave. You need to save it manually by going on the top right and selecting Save. Finally, you can export your Gantt chart into a CSV format by checking both. After you export your file in a CSV format, you can upload it on a Jira and import it onto advanced roadmaps. Gantt chart planner is available on the cloud. Check out the free trial on the Alassia Marketplace for more information. Thank you.